This is a short video uh, to introduce you to the parallelogram of forces method um, to find the resultant of two vectors. Um, over in the top here you can see we have a space diagram and on our space diagram we have a 9 newton force acting horizontally and then 70 degrees up from that we have a 6 newton force. Now, that's the space diagram, so that's not drawn to scale. What we're going to do now is we're going to draw our vector diagram, and we're going to draw that to scale. Now, let's have a look. What's the biggest force we've got here? That's 9 newtons. So let's have a look. 9 newtons. Now, on the space diagram, it's quite small there. I think it's reasonable. I think it's quite reasonable to say one newton per centimetre, that would give us nine centimetres for that first vector there. And I think that will fit on the page. With a parallelogram, we usually end up with a diagram that leans to one side. So we have to be careful that we're going to fit it on the page. So we go, nine works, nine works for me. So there's nine centimetres there. I'm just going to draw our first vector on there. There we go. Now, um, our second vector is 6 newtons. And uh, 6 newtons acts at 70 degrees. So if we take the protractor, put the crosshairs on the end of the vector there, carefully line that up, and then go round to 70 degrees here. In, out and place a mark there and then we can draw a faint line draw a faint line first just to show the direction and there's our faint line okay now uh, the magnitude of this one is six newtons and uh, we've said that the scale is going to be one centimeter equals one Newton. So the length of this line is therefore going to be six centimeters. So if I line that six up here, there we go, and I can draw my vector. So there we have our two vectors. There we have our nine Newton vector acting in that direction and our six Newton vector. There. That's 9 newtons, 6 newtons there. Now, as the name suggests, it's a parallelogram of forces. So we need to change this into a parallelogram. So to do that, we'll start with this line here, 6 newtons, and we want to create a, a line that's parallel to that. Now we know from the space diagram, the angle is 70 degrees. So... There's 70 degrees there to show us. So if we take our protractor and go to the other end of the 9 Newton line, we can create a parallel line there that is also 70 degrees. So let's have a look here. Let's put our protractor on the paper there and then go round to 70 degrees, place a mark there and draw a faint line. There we go. Now, um, we need to draw a parallel line that's parallel to this vector here. Now we could try and work out what that angle is supposed to be up there and then draw it in. But the easier way to do it is knowing that this is six newtons and knowing that it's six centimeters long, I can just take that same measurement up here. I'm going to line the six there. And I can place a mark on there, and that is the length or the magnitude uh, of that line. Now, if I go from the top of the six newtons and line it up with the mark I've just made, I can then draw my last parallel line. There we go. There's our parallelogram. So where's the resultant? Well, the resultant moves from the origin here up to where those lines cross. Let's just draw that in. There we go. 
And what's the magnitude of this resultant? Well, to do, find that out, we need to measure it. And it comes out as 12.4, so it's 12.4 centimetres. And knowing that one centimetre is one newton, we then know that that is 12.4 newtons. What direction is that resultant? Well, let's take our tractor over here and have a look. There. Now we have an angle of, oh, it's bigger than 20, so it's bigger than 25, 26, 27 degrees. So our angle there. 27 degrees. And that's it. Here we go. So our resultant is 12.4 newtons. And it's at an angle of 27 degrees. And there it is.